Uh, my name is Bing Hao Li, and a social professor with School of Minerals and Energy Resources Engineering, UNSW. I'm the facilitator of the master course of my Internet of Things. IoT, there are a lot of definitions. So the short one I can provide is IoT is a network of connected physical devices that exchange data over the internet. So you can find network, you can find devices, which is the things, and the content, which is the data. Mine IoT enables the connection and analysis of real-time data from mining equipment, uh, vehicles, and other sets to improve the safety, efficiency, and productivity. IoT or my IoT can play a very important role for mining operation. So for instance, we have mentioned monitoring many times. So with the data collected, so we can successfully so monitor the change or the supporting systems. Right, so we can predict so uh, when we should maintain those supporting systems. Another thing is, for example, we can manage the fleet so more efficiently. And we can also manage the people on the ground so more efficiently. So all these things, all this data collected by multi-sensors, so we can use data analytics, use data analytics to process this data to um, create a better model uh, to understand the whole mine and to provide all this information to our officers to make a decision. So you must have heard about the autonomous uh, cars in surfaces. So they just deploy the high accurate GPS. So we know the exact location of each vehicle then we can manage those vehicles uh, easily. And we know so what's the distance so two vehicles should have, and we can decide the speed of the vehicles, and we can direct the vehicle so well it should move. So what's the next task? And for underground, if we have the similar system, so we can improve the efficiency uh, significantly. And also, for instance, for the underground miners, if we know the location of all the workers, so say there's something happened, so we need to send one worker to go somewhere to fix the equipment. As we know, so exactly where they are, we know who is closest one and who can fix this problem. So we just send a message to this guy and he will finish the job as soon as possible. So that obviously we can improve the uh, efficiency significantly. So IoT Cloud to me is just a cloud computing platform for designed for managing and processing data generated by IoT devices. So I can't see the big difference of IoT Cloud and the normal cloud we are talking about. IoT can help us to collect the data so about the environment, help us to understand the environment, help us to understand the change of the environment, help us to understand so the human activity, the impact of the environment. And IoT at this stage, so this is one way we collect data. And another way is we make a decision and use IoT to change the environment. So far, we are very powerful with data collecting and data analytics, but not that powerful with using this data to send the instruction out, use IoT to change the environment. So, but even just the first step to collect data and analyze the data, so help us to understand the environment, help us to make the right decision is already very powerful.